Hello friends, this video on sound part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will start with the last topic of this lesson that is human ear. So when we talk of sound, sound, what is sound? We hear sound because of our ear, right? So it is important that at least we touch human ear, at least we see this topic. What is human ear? What actually is present inside? How the structure of the ear is? So how does our ear function? So we should have at least some idea, right? So human ear, it is a sensitive organ which enables us to hear the sounds around us. Obviously, we all know that, right? It is an important organ. Now, what are the auditory parts of the human ear? So, in this lesson, we will restrict ourselves only to the auditory parts. That means the parts of the human ear which enables us to hear. So, auditor. auditory means hearing. So, the parts of the ear which, in, which actually helps us in hearing. So, now let us see what are the different parts of the ear. Pinna, that is, now ear is broadly classified into three parts. Outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. So these are the broad classification. So the outer ear, that means so the outer one which is visible to everybody. So that is also known as pinna. So this is pinna or the outer ear. Next is auditory canal. So this is the auditory canal that also we all can see, right? I mean, if you look at your ear, you would see that there is a tunnel like structure which is going inside. So that is your auditory canal, okay? After that comes the eardrum or the tympanic membrane. So like this is the auditory canal as you can see here. So this is your auditory canal. So this auditory canal goes and it reaches the tympanic membrane. So this tympanic membrane is also known as eardrum, right? Okay, so after that comes the, then comes your middle ear. So this also, when I talk of outer ear, this is your outer ear, right? Now, when I talk of middle ear, this part is your middle ear. When I talk of inner ear, so this part forms your inner ear, right? So in the, inside the middle ear, you, we have three important bones, that is hammer, anvil and stirrup. So in, inside this middle ear, you see you have these three bones. Hammer, which is also known as malleus. The second one that is anvil, which is also known as incus. And the third one that is stirred up, which is also known as steps. So these three, one, two and three. So these are the three bones which are present in the middle ear. Right? And then comes the innermost one, that is the inner ear. And inner ear consists of the cochlea. If you see this spiral like structure that is the cochlea and then you have the auditory nerve auditory nerve which is also known as the cochlear nerve sometimes so cochlea and cochlear nerve this forms the part of the inner ear so these are basically the parts of the human ear now what is the function of each of them that we will discuss in the next slide now other than these also you are saying that there are certain other things for example there is an eustachian tube what does this eustachian tube? It is basically not an auditory part. That is why I have not discussed it, discussed it here. So eustachian tube is a tube which actually connects the ear to the nose. That is the nasopharynx. See, I don't, don't want to get into very much detail of nasopharynx and all because these are some things which we, you will study in your biology. So just remember that eustachian tube will connect the ear, that is the middle ear, to the nasopharynx that is it will connect it to the nose right similarly you have vestibular nerve so vestibular nerve is again a nerve which will connect the ear to another nerve in the brain so that means these things eustachian tube or vestibular nerve they, they actually do not help in hearing they actually connect the ear to other different organs right so here in this lesson we will restrict our studies only on these uh, auditory parts of the ear Right? So let us see the function of each of the auditory parts and then we will uh, combine them together to understand the functioning of the ear, how the ear enables us to hear the sounds around us. Let us start with the outer ear that is pinna. What is the function of the pinna? It collects sound from surroundings. 
perfectly fine so its its purpose is nothing else it will just collect sound from the surroundings and it will pass it inside so how will it pass it inside with the help of the auditory canal so the sound passes through this towards eardrum that means sound will it this one will collect sound and then it will pass sound through the auditory canal so auditory canal will actually help in passing the sound towards the eardrum now what does the eardrum will do the eardrum compression reaches eardrum moves it inward so now whenever i talk of sound what is sound sound is nothing but a wave so that means the sound waves are traveling like this so what are sound waves they are nothing but vibration of the particles of the medium right because sound waves are not traveling as such they are getting propagated through a medium propagated through a medium means the particles of the medium are just oscillating nothing else that means the particle the medium here is nothing but this air so the particles of the medium will oscillate so when the particles oscillate here like this so when the when the compression reaches the eardrum compression means the region of high pressure right that means the peak of the peak of this wave this is compression so when this compression reaches here what happens the eardrum moves inwards correct so when compression comes here that means high pressure is created here so the eardrum is also pushed some force is exerted on the eardrum also so the eardrum also moves a little inward again when the rarefaction reaches the eardrum moves outwards it is like this wave comes so when this wave it is actually nothing but every particle is moving like this like this like this so this is your eardrum when the compression comes it will push it inward again when the rarefaction will come when the rarefaction will come the eardrum will move outward right so that means the eardrum will keep moving inward and outward so that means when sound enters or when the sound reaches the eardrum the eardrum starts vibrating right so the eardrum starts vibrating then what happens then comes the middle ear now the middle ear what is the purpose of the middle ear middle ear actually amplifies the eardrum vibrations so as i mentioned in my previous slide also outer ear consists of the pinna then you have the external canal and the eardrum which will actually connect you to the middle ear right so in the middle ear you have three bones right which i it is three bones which will actually help in amplification of the eardrum vibration so these three bones together constitute the middle ear the eardrum vibrations are amplified here so the small vibrations because see the sound waves the rarefactions and compressions will uh, vibrate the eardrum to a very small extent but those vibrations are amplified by these three bones malleus incus and steps these three bones together will increase or will amplify the eardrum vibrations so then what will happen the eardrum vibrations are amplified now the cochlea that is the spiral like structure in the inner ear what will this do it will convert the pressure vibrations into electrical signals so the cochlea will convert the pressure vibrations so whatever vibrations are there they are nothing but pressure vibration or you can say density vibration right because it it is formed by compression and rarefaction correct so these pressure vibrations will be converted into electrical signals by cochlea why into electrical signals because see how do we see things we see things with the help of our eye but how do we understand what do we see that is with the help of brain so if our brain doesn't work in that case maybe we will see things but we will not understand what we are seeing similarly when we hear things for example you hear a pleasant music how do you know that you are hearing a pleasant music that's because whatever you are hearing that is being interpreted by your brain so your brain is telling you what you are actually hearing whether it is a noise or it is a pleasant music so that distinction is done by the brain so now in order that your brain understands what you are hearing the whatever the uh, signals are coming that has to be electrical signals because brain can understand electrical signals right so the inner ear will convert the pressure vibrations into electrical signals and these electrical signals are carried from ear to brain with the help of auditory nerve 
right and then the brain will interpret what you have actually heard so you will, then you will understand what you actually heard right but this entire process takes place within a fraction of a second and that is why as soon as we hear something we understand what we are hearing right it it doesn't happen that you heard something and you take a lot of time to understand what you heard it, everything happens very quickly that because that's because this entire process happens real fast so now let us try to put everything together so what happened from beginning let us suppose there is some source of sound somewhere some noise is coming up so this pin now will collect the noise it will send the sound waves through the auditory canal now because of this uh, sound waves the eardrum will start vibrating so these vibrations are nothing but pressure vibrations now these pressure vibrations are amplified by the middle ear that is the three bones of the middle ear and these pressure vibrations are then converted into electrical signals by the inner ear by cochlea and these electrical signals are then sent to the brain through this cochlear nerve or which is also known as auditory nerve so then brain will interpret what we have heard so this is how the human ear helps us to listen the sounds around us right so i hope you are clear on this part thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again